Hey everybody, it's Marcus. Welcome back and thanks for coming back for the July and August monthly update of my Tesla solar panels and power wall system. I want to acknowledge and apologize for the uh, long delay in between the videos here with the new baby in the family. Uh, unfortunately, just time got away from me and I wasn't able to keep up with the videos. That being said, you know, going forward, uh, we're going to do a lot to keep them more on time and I'm going to try to get caught up shortly here. Uh, you may notice that we have a new camera, so hopefully it looks a little bit clearer here. You should sound a little bit better. Uh, let me know in the comments or send me a message if there's anything I can do to make it better for you. Um, we're going to do two months here, basically July and August, and smush them together into one month. And I'm going to do that uh, just for this month um, because in September we will have had our system for a whole year. Uh, and for the videos in September onward, we're going to do historical data so I can look back at 2021, 2022, uh, which is pretty cool for production, house usage, etc., and compare them. Um, so I'm just going to knock July and August out here as one, do kind of a quick video here. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the cool things that I actually had the opportunity here and uh, kind of took advantage of to make a, a fake ad was uh, we've had some power outages here and one of them was for about an hour. Um, and one of the cool things, you know, with our security cameras and the power walls is that the power doesn't go out. So basically the whole entire street is dark except for our house. So uh, I made a little video, uh, a little fake ad per se, um, just to kind of play around with it. So here it is. Hopefully you enjoy. Everybody, hope you enjoyed that video. As always, if you want to get into a Tesla solar panel, solar roof, or power wall system, feel free to use my referral link down below. Uh, let me know if you use it. Send me a message, comment, and let me know. Uh, they did change the system up. It's no longer money off of your order, but they give you points, uh, which you can use to get uh, Tesla shop items. You can actually use it to get like full self-driving if you have a car uh, with them, uh, enhanced autopilot, etc. cetera. Uh, pretty neat. So let me know if you use that referral link. But uh, here we go with the data for August. Uh, as you can see here, uh, our house usage this uh, month was 1,320 kilowatt hours about 400 kilowatt hours less than July. Um, this one I can kind of explain by two weeks of it is vacation. So we weren't here, our AC was set to a higher temperature, the house just wasn't using as much. Um, in July, we used 1,750 kilowatt hours. It's just, uh, you know, Northern California, peak, peak temperatures really, we were uh, hitting the hundreds for most of July, August, uh, September too. Um, so we, we use the AC for quite a bit. Uh, as you can also see here, power wall usage, we're at 674 kilowatt hours discharge for August. This is a little bit less than July, which was 821 kilowatt hours. We did have two virtual power plant events in August. Uh, you can see my videos if you're interested in them. Uh, I'll also link them or just check them out on the channel uh, for more details on those virtual power plant events. The, those typically would discharge, uh, you know, basically the whole battery. So those will add quite a bit into the, you know, discharge cycles um, and using the grid afterward. But it is what it is. Uh, the next step would be solar production. And in August, we produced 1,851 kilowatt hours. That's an average of 59.7 kilowatt hours uh, per day. In July, we did 2,260 kilowatt hours, an average of 73 kilowatt hours per day. So you can kind of see there is quite a sharp reduction, you know, as you get from the peak in June, July there, starting to get into the fall as the sun starts to, you know, set and the days are shorter and the sun's not quite up as much. So it does kind of trail off. But that being said, our uh, net grid use for August 442 kilowatt hours back to the grid. Uh, we did use some here or there. We did send it back in those virtual power plant events. Again, there were two of those. So those typically send back at $2 per kilowatt hour, um, anywhere from you know 20 to 30 kilowatt hours uh, sent back to the grid each event. So quite lucrative. Um, anyway, so this is August uh, coming up shortly. We'll have September coming out. Uh, September again, we'll have the historical data, so it'll be a little bit, uh, you know, neat to see how the system's done year over year. 
Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, let me know. Have a good one.